but you can see the mm -hmm. layer of glue and also mm -hmm. a little cheek. bit on the cheek. Ooh, I don't think your mum's going to recognise you, Nick. The only thing about <laughs> this is you've got to be careful to keep eyebrows and such like out of the way. Yeah. You can taking them off afterwards is a you've got to be a little bit brave. It's a bit like taking off an elastoplast. Oh, that's hideous. I think Ian could do with a few um, things like this. Do you think it would be an improvement? Gilding the lily. There you are. Oh, let's see, Nick. Oh, oh. how does it feel? Terrible. <laughs> Doesn't look too good either. <laughs> Well, um, thank you very much, Tom. Pleasure. We've learnt a lot. I'm sure you can all try to do it. Simple copy decks. Let's go over to Ian. Ah, hello. Great, hey? This is what happens if you don't eat your greens. It's true, you know? You get a face like this. That was super, Paul. Thanks very much indeed, Tom. Here it is, our best song this morning. It's got to be, do you like Wham? Yeah. Yeah, well, here it is. Number two in the charts with Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go. One of my fave records there. From Wham, it's not number one anymore. Never mind. Now, if you're like me, you take disastrous holiday snaps. Now, I've got a young lady here who's going to show us how to take perfect ones. It's Virginia Bolton, and Hello. she's a student at uh, the College of Art and Design. Is that yes, right? Yes, that's right. Now, is it true that photography is a very expensive hobby? Yes, it is. It, it can be very expensive, mm. but with um, careful selection of an Instamatic camera, you don't have to spend that much money and mm -hmm. you can still get very good results. It's just you have to be ever so careful using them. They're not as easy as people think they are. Really? And the gang that are in today have brought some not so successful snapshots so that I can demonstrate these They problems. resemble the ones I okay. take too. Now, the first one here we have this brown mass at the bottom of the picture, which in fact is someone's thumb that they put over the lens while they were taking the photograph. This is the problem with the cameras being so small, it's very easy to get your fingers in the way. And then this next one here, this shows someone has got the strap of their camera over the lens, which is also very easily done. The third one, this you might not be able to make out, uh, it's someone's eye, and what has happened is they've used one of the very slim pocket cameras, and you, which you can't tell which is the back and which is the front. So the chances are, I should think, that poor person has got a whole roll of film, all the pictures of their eye or their ear, because they've been taking pictures th looking through the wrong way. This photograph here illustrates one of the faults of an Instamatic camera, which is you have no control over the shutter speed and the exposure. So you have to be very careful that you only use the camera when the lighting conditions are good and not in dark doorways such as this. And this really is a bum shot. <laughs> We've got the zebra is completely out of the picture, or almost, apart from its posterior. And one of the problems with an instamatic camera is that it's so light that you really must hold it very steady into your body, like this, so that when you click the shutter with your arms in, it won't move. And if it does, then this is what happens. You get the blur, and also the zebra will be out of the shot, <laughs> if you're taking a photograph of the zebra. And then here, this family, there are not a lot of them in the picture, but a nice lot of surf. And this, again, I think, is caused by someone jerking the camera just as they take the photograph. Mm. And one problem to point out with these cameras is that when you're looking through the viewfinder, the, here, to look at your subject, you are not looking through the lens that's taking the photograph. And so what you're seeing is not going to be the same as the picture that you're taking. So a lot of you might find that when you take pictures of friends, when you actually look through the camera, you think, oh, I've got Fred right in the centre of the frame. And when you actually get your pictures back, you'll find he's right off to one side. OK, that's lovely. Thank you. Um, if I wanted to progress with my photography, could I do it with the same camera or would I need another? Um, well, if you're prepared to pay a little bit more money, maybe about £100 or so, then you can move on to 35mm photography. This is mm -hmm. quite a big step up because yeah. there's a great range of these cameras and lenses. Yeah. Does it use the same kind of film? Uh, it uses the same basic emulsion type, but a different size. The negatives are different, so of course yeah. you get better quality. Yeah. Altogether. Now you've got some prints here which show different problems again with this camera. Yes, yeah. the, the photographs here demonstrate the advantages to this camera as opposed to the Instamatic. Mm -hmm. The first picture is on the board of the car and below them a, a picture of a statue show that with use of the aperture, mm -hmm. which is the hole through which the light passes, changing oh, the size of it, 
If you stop down, as we call it, to the smallest hole of all, then you can get a lot of things in focus. And if you open up to make the hole where the light comes in large, then you will only get one small area in focus, I as see. we can see from the picture of the car. That's the thing nearest to the camera. That's right. And you, you may desire either effect, the stopping, stopping right down so that everything's in focus, to get a great group of people in focus, or opening up so that you get one subject isolated. I see. And what do the others demonstrate? The other here? pictures demonstrate shutter speed, which on this camera that? is located here. That um, is the speed with which the camera, the shutter opens and closes. I've got you. If you have a short shutter speed, mm -hmm. then you get the effect shown by the football photograph and the little girl skipping, where you stop the action, so you get someone in mid-air. Mm. Then see. if you have a long shutter speed, so the shutter is open a long time, you record the movement of the person or the subject, and then you get blurred effects, such as the man walking along and the other I shot of little girl skipping. See. Right, now, you're going to show us now how to actually take a perfect picture, aren't you? Yes, hopefully. And uh, we're going to use a Polaroid camera, which will take an instant shot. Yes, Polaroid cameras are fun cameras, but the film is very expensive, so yeah. you do want to use these to their mm -hmm. best advantage as mm -hmm. well. Okay. If I move over to Florida here, we found our macho man on the beach. Oh. Get away, kids. <laughs> Still playing the ball. Sorry about that. Now, Sorry. here you want to concentrate on composition as uh -huh. much as you possibly can. So make sure we've got those sexy legs showing as much as we can. Not a lot of hairy chest showing, but oh, you can't win them all. Right, so making sure the sun is in the right angle, you know, order the sun to be at two o'clock in the afternoon if possible. Right. No shadows on the face. Ah, oh, what a wonderful noise. The right. lighting is an important aspect, isn't it? It is very important because, for instance, if now the sun was overhead, you would get harsh shadows over the face, which wouldn't look awfully nice. Or if the sun had been right behind me, I might have got my own shadow in the picture, which would be ah. most disturbing. Mm -hmm. What have you put it under your arm for? Well, this will keep the emulsion warm while it's processing uh -huh. and hopefully make it process that much quicker. Mm. But this isn't the same for all emulsions because if you put your camera in the sun, if you're on the beach, mm. then that film will get warm and when you send your film away to be processed, the chances are it will come back with all sorts of strange stains mm. and spots on it. Mm. And you must also be very careful when you're on the beach that you don't get sand or salt water in your camera because mm. that, there's no repair for that. Is it ready yet? Oh, it's almost ready. Oh, dear. A little bit of a camera shake there, I'm afraid. This so is one of the problems I was talking about. Even the experts have camera shake. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> camera nerves. Well, thank you very much, Virginia. I'm sure we've all learnt a lot about photography. You're all going to take wonderful snaps now, aren't you? Vegetarian.